Welcome to A Diver's Life. Today, Doreen and I are going to be traveling to the northern part of Bonaire to dive a dive site called Boca Bartol. Boca Bartol is not frequented by scuba divers due to its remote location and because of strong currents. But fortunately today, we're looking at 10 to 15 mile an hour winds and five second wave intervals, which would make for more ideal conditions. Bonaire is the easternmost island in the ABC island chain and it is also northwest of Caracas, Venezuela. We're going to start our trip at the Harbor Village Marina in the center of the island. This is where Doreen and I store our boat called the Honeybee. The Honeybee is a 1994 Boston Whaler Outrage. We're going to be traveling north up towards the BOPEC oil storage facility. And you can see it here on the map. We're going to be traveling past BOPEC towards the westernmost part of the island and on up to Boca Bartol. We hope you enjoy it. There is nothing like being on a boat in beautiful Caribbean waters. The honeybee's bow is pointed at the Bopec oil storage facility. Here we can see an oil tanker delivering oil that is used to generate roughly 60% of Bonaire's electricity. Here we are passing the dive sites of Candyland and TaylorMade, which have no moorings. Rounding the corner of the island, we approach the dive sites of Carl's Vision and Nuco. At last, we arrive at Boca Bartol. Doreen gets ready to take the plunge. Boca Bartol has a wide sand channel between the north and south side of the site. On the first of two dives, we see that we have no noticeable current. Encrusting mound and boulder corals are piled one on top of the other on the north side Streaming light illuminates these yellow tail snapper at the top of the reef. The honeycomb cowfish blends in well in the shallow reef. It is amazing how coral rejuvenates after the storms in the late 90s that impacted the north side of Bonaire. On our second dive, we find the sand channel at Boca Bartol to be home to Southern Atlantic Stingray. Let's get a closer look. Was it something I ate? We found the reef to the south of the sand channel to be less dense with coral, but we also found considerably more current. Heading back to the sand channel, Doreen and I found this hawksbill turtle. We were a bit surprised that he suddenly took off and bolted down the wall. Did he see a predator or did he have a bad experience with another diver? White spotted filefish are curious. They can switch to a high contrast color pattern with a much darker background and many light colored spots. Leaving the current, we head back up the sand channel 
and enjoy beautiful coral and small fish that dot the landscape. We are greeted again by a beautiful school of yellowtail snapper. Finishing the dive, we catch sight of both a rainbow and a blue parrotfish. Our time in the sea has come to an end as we ascend up to the honeybee ladder, glistening in the sun. for watching. That's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit the subscribe button to see more on this channel.